car broke down, stranded me in the middle of nowhere, some godforsaken forest. On a plus side, I just got done seeing The Revenant, Leonardo DiCaprio, new flick. On a negative, I'm in the woods, no food, haven't eaten in what feels like minutes, if not tens of minutes, so I'm pretty hungry. My phone's dead, which of course would have been nice, because then I could contact somebody via social networking sites like Twitter and let them know how much it sucks that I'm stranded and just at least update the fan base that, you know, things aren't great. I, you know, I wish I had an Instagram account because it's a pretty looking place, but uh, the good news is my cameras are all functioning and I did see a really good movie, so let's talk about it uh, before I freeze to death. <clears throat> The Revenant, or The Reverent, I, don't, I can't remember what it's called. It's a, it's a terrible title. Uh, I don't think there's been a movie titled this bad since Ballistic, X vs. Sever, or Shark Boy and Lava Girl. But regardless, the, the quality of the movie's there, and that's all that really, that, that's all that really counts. I'm going to die out here. It may be a blistery negative nine here in Minnesota, but I stay pretty warm just thinking about how great the performance was by Leonardo DiCaprio. This is a guy who's yet to win an Oscar, as, as pretty much everybody knows by now. And this is the role that uh, he definitely is going for one. I mean, he's a vegetarian, but he ate raw meat. He's a, uh, he, you know, he, he, they're out filming for fucking nine months or something off and on. They had, st uh, they had issues on the film, so they had to move it to Canada. All sorts of crap. Um, Bottom line is, the last film that the director did, I can't remember his name, I'm not going to bother looking it up. I can't look it up, my phone's dead. That's the, that's the shtick we're going with today, my phone's dead. But the last movie he did was Birdman, which won a bunch of awards, critically acclaimed. I thought it was alright, it was a little too artsy for me, it had a, one of those bullshit endings to keep you talking, it's just art for the sake of art. This one though, holy hell, this was, this was beautiful, all around. Uh, like I said, DiCaprio nails it. He, uh, as this guy named Glass, he's got a, a son who does a terrific job. There's that kid with the spaced eyes from Maze Runner. He's in it. He does fine. Tom Hardy, once again, transforming himself. Uh, you know, he's different in every film. Bane, Mad Max, and here we are now. Uh, he plays an asshole. That's, that's really all I'll say. This is a spoiler-free review. Not that it matters. Every, I'm sure most people see it before my reviews even go out. <laughs> Running at two and a half hours long, you'd think that it might get a little slow, it's a little long in the tooth, but this one holds up pretty well. This is one of the most intense movies I've ever seen. The Martian also came out this year. There's some parallels you can make by, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of the journey of one man trying to survive in the, in the elements, but how they handle it, of course, is much different. Uh, Mar the, the Martian is a much more family-friendly affair. It's, it's all about science. It's all about working together. Whereas The Revenant is, is really one man's journey um, to see how far he can push himself to stay alive for, for reasons I won't say. It did remind me of uh, a film called The Patriot with Mel Gibson, only in the terms that it's a long movie, and you see a lot of bad shit happen to the lead character. So much so that you're kind of, like, uh, it'd be nice if something good happened. Could you see, like, a rainbow or something, at least? Just something to get his spirits up? Uh, that You don't really get much of that. It is a very heart-wrenching, gut-wrenching flick. He's in the wilderness, he's in the fray, so anything can happen, and really everything does happen to this guy. I feel real bad for him. Poor Glass, you know, he never, he never had a chance, really. But there's just so much shit just happens, and you can tell the director and the writer were thinking, I really want to film this scene. Let's just have it happen to him. And they did that like seven or eight times. So there's bear attacks, there's there's Indians tracking him, there's uh, you know, there's cliff falls, there's avalanches, there's just everything you can think of thrown at this guy, and how he gets out of it uh, is just incredible. It's it's There's also a Star Wars Empire Strikes Back reference in there. It, it's pretty awesome scene. 
it's a pretty awesome scene. Oh, I, I got to find some sustenance or something. I mean, I've been out here for at least 20 minutes now. I don't know how people did it back in the day. I just don't understand it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I got to get the review out somehow, find a way to upload it to YouTube. That's really all that matters right now. You know, it's good. What, what else? What else do you want from me? What do you what do you want me to say here? I mean, what do you want me to do? It's a, it's a good movie. See it if you haven't. Jesus. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking out here risking my life to get this review out the door. You know, some of these other asshole YouTubers, they get uh, advanced screeners to see this shit weeks early. Meanwhile, I'm, you know, just regular fucking schmo going to the theaters, paying a ticket, paying a hot seat. Hot seat, that's ironic. I'm in the coldest seat in the house right now. All right, um, I don't have much else to say. It's, cinem it's a cinematic masterpiece. It's a tour de force. You know, the thing looks gorgeous. It's all practical effects. They shot using real daylight for the however many days, 80 days I think they shot for off and on for those nine months spread. DiCaprio's kicking his own ass up and down to make this thing believable. Uh, I felt like I was in the picture the whole time. There wasn't a scene where I thought, that's CGI, that's CGI. No, I'm, I'm all in. Everybody's in. Uh, you know, it's, it's gut-wrenching. It's, it's violent. It's gory. Uh, but there's there's some drama there. There's some emotion, and it's it's a beautiful movie. It's a beautiful film. One of the best of the year. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Not begrudgingly. There's nothing wrong with the film. Uh, if you know if you don't want to see a guy get his ass kicked for two and a half hours, uh, maybe watch um, Transformers. I don't know. This isn't a movie for everybody, but it's a movie for the right people. You can take that to the bank. And then ask someone to come pick me up out here in the woods. Uh, because I'll be dead within the hour. <sighs> yeah. Try this one more time. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna, I didn't think I was gonna live to see another day, honestly. I mean, yeah, so I said it's a 10 out of 10 film. One of the best of the year. I don't know if I th it's better than The Martian. It's so different than The Martian. It just depends on what kind of what kind of movie you want to see, you know. But yeah, it it, it really wowed me. And um, I mean, if I was gonna die out there, at least I had one more film to uh, enjoy first. So yeah, that's something, you know. But you know, I made it. I survived, and uh, and now I'm home. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go with that. <laughs>